Assalam o Alaikum dear friends welcome back to Seven Engineers YouTube channel with the new video guys today in this construction site I will give you some important information specially for plinth beam RCC column and sinetry pipe near with RCC column so how you can fix sinetry pipe near with RCC column as you can see this is guys plinth beam which is 9 inches and its depth is 12 inches as you can see this is starter for RCC column so those are columns with each column there are PVC pipe which die is 4 inches you can see the starter depth is 3 inches so after this starter they will provide firm work for RCC column guys in many videos I have already discussed PVC pipes should not be runs an RCC column or sanitary pipes uh, sanitary and electrical pipes should not be runs an RCC column that's why because it can weak RCC column so if you want to provide PVC pipe so you will separate a place for PVC pipe but it should not be runs this is plain beam so they will remove the farm work after six hours So guys, there is just information for PVC pipes for first floor, for sanitary and also for rainy water. These are PVC pipes, but PVC pipes should not be run an RCC column, but you will keep a place if the dia of PVC pipe is four inches. So you will keep six inches space near with RCC column but in column inside the column we should not use PVC pipe because it can weak RCC column so therefore it should be designed separately you can see this is also other column dia of PVC pipe is 4 inches So the mason will be provide starter also for this column and also for that one. Depth is 12 inches and width of the plant beam is 9 inches. And before this video I have already discussed its structure for plant beam. So you can watch. Click on the I button up then you are able to watch the video so guys this is a short video to discuss about plain beam and rcc column pvc pipes thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye